everybody. Greg Steger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a video to show you how you can take a picture and bring a character out of the picture that's highlighted and kind of dim out the rest of the environment so that you can bring the focus of attention on a particular person or individual in the picture. I'm using PowerPoint 2013 to go about doing this. And this is actually going to involve a couple of different steps. First, we're going to need to, uh, you see I've already got a picture on my stage here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make a copy of this and I'm going to remove the background of everything but the person I want to highlight and then I'm going to place that picture on top of it and have uh, a sort of mask uh, there in between. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and uh, copy this particular slide. I'm just right clicking on the slide over here. I'm going to choose duplicate so I've got a copy here because I want to make two separate instances of this particular photo. One is going to remain normal and the other one is going to be the one with the removed background. So I'm on the, my second slide here and I'm just going to go ahead now select the picture and then along the top make sure I'm on this format tab and then I can choose to remove the background. I'm going to extend this out to the sides. I'm going to go through this rather quickly. I, I could spend some more time uh, removing backgrounds and things like that um, but for the sake of the example I won't spend too much time on it. Uh, what I'm going to do here uh, the pink parts represent the areas that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to get rid of a little more and I'm just going to keep the boy in the middle with the red shirt Now I want to mark some areas to keep. I want to keep his hair. And there's just a little along the edge there. And his arm and his ball. There. For the most part, that's pretty close. So let's go ahead and we'll keep our changes. And there's our guy right there. Pulled out of that picture. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is copy this. Doing a control C and I'm going to go back to my first slide. Now what I want to do here to provide the dimmed out effect is I'm going to take and just put a rectangle right over the top of this with the exact same shape. So I'm going to go to insert shapes. I'm going to grab this rectangle here and I'm going to right at the corner of the picture just click and drag right over the top make it the same size and it's by default it's filling in with this particular color here but we're gonna go ahead and change that um, so let's go to our shape fill and we're gonna have this be uh, let's see let's go with it, this darker black here not a full black but kind of a gray and our outline will just have be that same dark gray and what we want to do now is go in and take the transparency of this particular box uh, down so that you can kind of you know see through it so I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna to choose to format the shape and I'm gonna to go to the fill here and slide my transparency lever over here and let's go with 30 percent that sounds pretty good there so now you can see how everybody is kind of dimmed in the background there so now what i want to do is take my copy of my other picture here where i just have the rest of the background out and i'm going to uh, select this picture i'm going to do a control c to copy that i'm going to come back to this one and i'm going to control v to paste it and then I'm just going to nudge it 
in place so it lines up exactly with the other picture and I'm just using the arrow keys there to do that so now you can see where it looks as though because he's brighter um, that he is now the focus of attention and you can kind of play around with the uh, transparency of the box and such to you know get the effect the exact way that you want it um, but that's how you go about setting up a uh, effect like that using PowerPoint. So I hope that this was helpful for you and that you'll find some various applications for this using whatever kind of picture that you might have around or scenario that you uh, need to put something like that into place. Well, thanks so much. Have an awesome day.